it's a lot of work taking a selfie if you're a planet. First, you have to evolve the life form that will invent the rocket that will blast into outer space with a camera to snap your gorgeous terra firma. But that takes time. The first whole disc true color picture of Earth from space did not exist until November 1967, a photo captured by NASA's ATS-3 satellite. Not bad, but you probably wouldn't send it to your mother. A year later, on Christmas Eve 1968, lunar astronauts Frank Borman and William Anders snapped several photos of Earth rising over the surface of the moon. It came to be known as Earthrise. Impressive. But could we get one without the moon? That would happen on December 7, 1972, when two astronauts returning from the moon captured what is now considered the most requested, most downloaded, and most recognizable photo in human history, the blue marble. The first whole disk image of Earth taken by a human. It took three and a half billion years, but the wait was worth it. Mother Earth had her selfie. The blue marble inspired a generation of people to care more deeply about our planet, the whole planet. Earth Day and environmentalism became the in thing to do. Scientists adopted Earth system science and designers created those nifty space fashions. And some, not so nifty. If selfies offer a window into our identity, then Earth found a new identity on that day. Gaia, the Earth system. The sum of everything that makes Earth a habitable planet for all living beings, including us. Though individually we may differ in every way imaginable, we all share this in common. We are part of the Earth system. We all belong to Gaia. All eight billion of us, sharing a home, on a lonely planet, orbiting a sun, in an unfathomably immense universe. Who will you be this Earth Day?